The clinical implications obviously are huge. I think about scenarios, for example, pancreatic cancer, right? This is something that is, is traditionally very difficult to diagnose, frequently diagnosed late for folks. And traditional imaging has done only a so-so job of actually picking it up. Being able to pick it up a year or two earlier by virtue of having some of these advanced algorithms doing their thing, it would be huge for patients and for society. Yeah, enterprise imaging is a three-legged stool. We used to think of it as, as pixels, right? But it's mm -hmm. pixels, it's discrete content, right? EMR stuff. And it's the what I call the biology side of the business, the genetics, the genomics, the mm -hmm. geography, the liquid biopsies. Mm -hmm. All of this on one common timeline has to be used and leveraged. And humans just can't do that. It's just like yep. a stockbroker, right? When I first started out, my career in 81, I had a stockbroker. He managed 10 stocks. Now a stock, there is no such thing as a stockbroker, right? Mm -hmm. They're a portfolio manager. They manage tens of thousands of stocks and EFTs. And how can they manage that volume and quantity of data? They were the first users of some of the AI algorithms. Oh yeah, And they still exist. The oh, models yeah. filtering out the semantics of what the responses are and giving a best guess accurate to so that the human can filter through the audit. That's where healthcare is going.